Hi everybody, welcome to this free video guide for the qualifying round of the Ocean Lynx 9 Hole Cup. Tailwinds all the way in expert. Please give me a thumb up if you don't mind and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Plenty of drops here to use as references as well. Remember to take some practice tokens if you are able to. Put in some wind strength tweaks, wind angle tweaks, even more important with the aggressive tailwind shots. And of course, adapt any of the plays that you need to for your club's balls and skill level. Best of luck everybody, here we go. We're going for green with Apoc and Berserker here. We're going to add spin first and we're going to go with one bar of top spin and half a bar of side spin to the right. Uh, and the landing position as follows. Apoc 5 and 6, red ring touching the rough on the left, P5 max rest. Apoc 4, stretch out 1.8 rings and have 20% of the red ring inside the rough on the left. Then we are going to adjust max plus 10 P5. Now adjust very carefully here. We are going to have to pull the rings down off the face of the cliff, but you will be fine. So make sure you zoom out enough because obviously you've got further to drag down when you're pulling down a slope. So zoom out sufficiently. Then we are going to make a push up here. And this is going to give us a slightly shakier needle. As you can see here, I'm pushing up eight yards. With APOC 4, you will need to push up 15 yards, full overpower, and outer wall curl to the right. The reason I go with a shakier needle is because then I'm not going to be left with an impossible putt. If you don't do the push up, uh, obviously you have to use more top spin, you may not roll out the rough, or you may roll just onto the green and have an unreachable putt. But here we've got a short one for the Eagles. Show you a hole in one with the Goliath here. We are going to set up uh, looking at the plus yards and we're going to be at the top of plus seven. And you can see there we'll have half of the red ring inside the rough on the right with Goliath nine. Obviously different club levels may vary though. We're adding one bar of backspin and then two very small clicks of side spin to the right. So call that 0.1 right spin if you wish. You can also check your alignment by looking at the ball guide. Tough to see really because you haven't got a full ball guide but we are aiming just one pixel to the left of the flag stick. The adjustment here is max plus 20, power 3 settings. Okay, Max plus 20, P3, pulling over the bullseye and then we are going to take our shot, centering the ball. Might need a wind angle tweak or two of course. As always on the par 3, it's good to put those in if you can. But if not, just hit a perfect ball and you'll have a decent chance bouncing onto the green. And they're rolling in there for the hole in one. We're going to drive with the rock here, followed by the sniper. Now we're going to set up with uh, the rings and plus yards as follows. Blue ring touching the rough on the right at P3 max rest with a rock level 8. And that will be a top of plus 15 with rock level 9. Then we add 4.1 top spin. Two bars, side spin to the right. And the adjustment here is max plus 25 P3. Now, you are going to have to deal with pulling in and out of the bunker here, so find a method that works for you. I tend to pull as many rings as I can, whole number of rings there before it glitches. So I've got nine rings. Then I spin the camera around and do the rest. You can do that, or you can just push the lot of them if you want. Uh, it all depends on what is your preferred method, but at some point you are going to have the rings glitch out on you when you go through the bunker. So do the best you can. Max plus 25 P3, centre the ball and hit perfect. And we want one bounce on the fairway, second bounce at the end of the fairway, third bounce in the rough, and rolling out to around 345 yards. Now, second shot, time is of the essence. Do not dawdle. Here we're going to add around half a bar of top spin and between 0.7 and one bar of right spin. It varies depending on your drive, but you need to be in the funnel with the ball guide just missing to the right of the pin, but also stopping slightly short. So pause the video, get a reference on that tip of the ball guide. Now you're not done yet though. We've got to adjust now. Plus eight landing position for sniper ten. Uh, we're going 76% slider, 10% elevation. That will be plus 10 with sniper 9. Then we have to pull back or push back, if you're looking back at the ball, one and a half rings. So there are uh, quite a lot to do there. There's that little extra step. Otherwise, you're going to land too high or miss the rough completely. So make sure you do that uh, pull back, uh, one and a half rings, finding the funnel, dropping for the albatross. Brand new series. 
Golf Clash History. First two episodes are out for Patreon and YouTube channel members. Third one to follow. There will be weekly episodes of fun look back through the history books of the game. If you want to support the channel, get access to that really early. You can do cheaper than the price of a cup of coffee and we have yearly discounts available. Check us out, patreon.com forward slash bkgolfclash. Right, landing position here, white ring touching the rough on the left. And you're going to be at the bottom of plus one with Grizzly 9. So just where it ticks over into plus one and just where it clicks over into plus four with Grizzly 7 and 8. Then we're adding spin, 3.9 back spin, no side spin. OK, 3.9 back, no side. Of course, if you've got a bit more uh, confidence in your timing in terms of your shot clock, then you can add your spin with a basic ball. Then you swap to a kingmaker and then find your position. It will guarantee no unwanted side. Max plus 10, P3. Grizzly 9 numbers, please. Centering the ball. Hitting perfect. And this is going to bounce very comfortably on the fairway. And onto the green. And we're going to roll in for the hole in one. Now, we've got a hole in one here. It will not happen every time. If it does, pour yourself a drink and enjoy it after you've finished hole nine. Going to use the extra mile level 9 and we're going to go at the top of plus 27 yards with the red ring touching the rough. Then we add spin. We are going to go with 7 bars of top spin and then um, half a bar of side spin to the right. Adjust max plus 10 P5. Of course, if you've got an Apox 7 or 8, um, you can find the position with the extra mile 9, then switch to your Apox 7 or 8. You could probably get away with an APOC 6. You're only going to lose a few clicks of top spin. Full overpower with a slow needle. No curl. Hit perfect. Like I said, this is not going to drop every single time. But it's a reference drop and you should have, with a good setup here and a nice execution, a very, very safe eagle, even if you don't quite get the hole in one. On the drive here, we are going to, before spin, stretch out to P5 max and have the ball guide pointing there halfway between the bunker and the rough. Then we add our spin, 5.8 top spin, one right spin, and adjust max plus 10, power five settings. Okay, max plus 10 P5, you need your APOC, a berserker of course, and you will need your grizzly for the second shot. So making my adjustment there for me, that is gonna be, looks like 8.9 rings. Then there is going to be a small push-up required. Now, APOC 5 and above, pushing up here 10 yards. Uh, APOC, uh, uh, APOC 4 will need to push up an additional 7 yards, so it would be 17 yards with APOC 4. You might need to vary the push-up depending on your wind strength. This is kind of mid-wind. Full overpower, hit perfect. You have a slightly slower needle, which is always nice. Second bounce in the rough. Rolling out here to a drive distance that's going to be in the region of 415 yards. Second shot, add spin first. We're going to go uh, with three and a half top spin and one right spin. Okay, three and a half top, one right. Then we're setting up with the ball guide intentionally short. And also kind of you'll see it curve from the left to the right. So make sure you're aiming at the pin imagining that that ball guide is going to continue on it kind of just like it's going to miss the pin to the right actually but you need to have it stopping short about four green squares short by the looks of things here because we've got tailwind of course that's going to carry the ball further on plus eight with grizzly nine will be plus uh, 11 with grizzly seven and eight and for both of those cases you're going to go 72 percent slider five percent elevation grizzly nine numbers pull twice over the bullseye 2% slider per yard, so if you are further away, if your landing position was plus 9, you'd play at 74% instead. Perfect ball here bouncing on the pad. You're not going to risk uh, the rough at all, and if you're lucky, you're going to get the Albi. If you're enjoying the free content and want to help keep it free and support the channel here, head over to patreon.com forward slash bkgolfclash. Loads of different membership levels all have the same perks. You get wind charts early, you get elevation sheets exclusive content as well, episodes of my Club Guide series up there as well. So plenty to help you out as membership perks if you want to help support the channel. Now, with this drive, going to go with the Titan for the extra wind push and the extra mile for the top spin. P3 max rest, half of the red ring inside the rough on the left. Max top spin, two right spin, 
are just max plus 10 p3 now i've got to warn you here occasionally i was short on the drive and you are going to see a drive that is slightly shorter here um, ideally you should get the glitch roll um, just to help i push up one ring after adjusting here unfortunately though this is going to give you a slightly uh, shakier needle so it's all up to you really how you want to go with this one full overpower no curl ideally you want to be driving around 432 to 435 um, so i would write down your drive distance just in case you are short this one is slightly shorter but i'd still be able to play with the thorn on this one 428 if you can do a fringe check do it uh, fringe where it meets the fairway in line with the pin gives me plus three then I'm adding spin, 2.9 backspin, 2 right spin. This because I will adjust into the bunker and I'm aiming with the ball guide going just through the hole because like I said, when we're just into the bunker, it's going to cost me distance on the shots. So that's why I'm setting up as I'm doing. I'm going to give you a tweaked value here in the commentary and on the notepad based on the miss in the video. Uh, plus 3 fringe check, I'd go 86% slider. 20% elevation, pull this one over the bullseye. Of course, um, a higher power ball may help you here. It doesn't have to be wind three. I'd keep with wind two. So if you've got a power four ball, it will give you a slower needle on the drive. It would also safeguard you in case of a short drive. It's all up to you though, but this is certainly tweakable. Good speed and the adjustment I've given should, I hope, get you in for the eagle on this par four. Very close on this one, going to give you a small uh, tweak or two suggestions actually of what to do. Uh, but first though, blue ring touching the rough, ball guide through the hole without spin. Then you're going to add your spin, which is 1.8 back spin. And in the video I go with 0.8 right spin. You can either go with 0.9 as a tweak or you add a click or two of right curl. The choice is yours. Mid plus 20, power four numbers. So for me, that's going to be 9.3 rings. I'm using sniper 10 numbers, regardless uh, of whether you've got sniper 9 or 10. Like I said, though, two possible tweaks. You either go with a click more right spin, or you go with a click or two of right curl. This one, unfortunately, just uh, catches the left edge. Perfect ball, subject to any wind angle tweaks, of course, bouncing nicely on the fairway. We're going to get a nice camera angle, but unfortunately, uh, just take a 180 and out on this par 3, but a very decent chance. Finally, going to go with a Titan here. I'm just looking for a safe eagle. APOC 5 and 6, red ring touching the rough on the left at the top of plus 10. APOC 4, P3 max rest, 20% of the red ring overlapping the rough on the left. 5.8 top spin, 2 bars of left spin. I'm using a Titan. Uh, you could go with a Kingmaker in high wind. Um, but in low wind with a Kingmaker, I'd actually prefer the Titan because it was help uh, on the second shot. Max plus 15, power 3. And once we've done that, uh, no push-up needed, just time to take our shot. And we're going to go with inner wall curl to the left. No overpower, just to kind of swing the ball in a little bit towards the top left corner of the fairway. Kind of safeguards the second shot a little bit. Perfect ball away and the top spin is going to take us very nicely. I've always ended up on the fairway here. You want to be in between the two tree shadows, preferably towards the further one, around 365. Second shot, max backspin, one left spin with the Titan. I'm stretching out to have the uh, second bounce just past the middle of the green. And you can see I'm stretching out four rings into overpower. Now, adjust, max plus 10, but you need to be doing a helicopter adjustment here. So make sure you zoom out loads because you've got to pull down the face of the cliff and you will need a lot of device screen to be able to do that. So max plus 10, and because I stretched out four rings, I'm going to push those rings back up. I would recommend you go with more push-up than less, or even give yourself more push-up than you need to, because the second attempt here, I only just cleared the rough. So four rings push-up, it will depend on your wind strength here, so I would test this with a token, but you'll see here, um, with that push-up, I'm clearing it fine. I've got room to be more cautious, as in I could push up a lot more than that and would still be on the green for the Eagle. So test it and see what you think and work with whatever works for you nicely. 
Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clanmates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.